Thank you, 3-0, for doing the best live-action Megatron design. Alright, so I want to do a quick video giving my thoughts on the recently revealed 3-0 DLX Megatron from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Revenge of the Fallen Megatron is not only my favorite design of Megatrons from the live action films, but my favorite design for the character in general. I love it. I just think it's super cool. From the tread feet to the big murder arm, to the head design, the tank boosters on the back, the spiky right shoulder, there's just so much stuff that I love about this design. And it is very cool to see 3-0 tackling this design finally because with how accurate and detailed they are and with how they just seem like a playable version of the CGI models themselves it's something that I have always wanted. I sort of got that back in 2018 when I bought the Forever Tron which is sort of a custom made Megatron figure and that one is very cool the only thing is it is very fragile on my copy I've had several pieces break and I always found the head design to look off it's really hard for me to really place what it is that bugs me about it but it just looks off so once 3-0 started to really dip into the Michael Bay stuff with the DLX line Revenge of the Fallen Megatron and really just Megatron in general was high up there on my list I love all of Megatron's live action designs and that's including Galvatron from Age of Extinction and I'd love to see each one of them get this treatment but looking at this thing in more detail it really looks to nail the Revenge of the Fallen design it says that it is 11.2 inches tall tall and has 53 points of articulation. As we can see from this picture here, Megatron will be slightly taller than Optimus. This is an issue for some, since Megatron is said to be around 35 feet tall in the movies. Optimus is a bit more inconsistent. You see 28 feet a lot, I've seen 32. Me personally, I just typically say he's 30 feet tall just to be in between. So you know, Megatron should be bigger. But for one, 3-0 and of course 3-A before that has never really been the best with scale. There are characters that are bigger than they should be compared to others, some that are smaller than they should be compared to others. The only things they've done that really scale together decently well so far are the Bumblebee movie DLX stuff. And I'm not even saying that that is specifically right, just that it is a bit closer. And then two, in just about the only scene where you can kind of get a sense of scale in Revenge of the Fallen, Megatron and Optimus are just about the same height. But hey, it's really whatever. Their articulation seems good. That's something that the DLX line seems to be excelling at. He looks to have two different hands for each arm, one being a more relaxed pose for each, and the one being a more open pose for each, which I think is pretty cool. And the arm is swappable with the murder arm, or the deathlock pincer as it is known. One thing I am curious about though is if the sword is removable, just so you can have it with just the fusion cannon and the claw. Otherwise, it looks like we're getting three zeros, excellent paintwork as usual. Lots of rust, and I've seen some people say that it might have a little too much, but Megatron was pretty rusty in the movie. As long as it isn't too overpowering because he still did have a decent bit of shine to him with the silver. One thing I absolutely love is that he has the Cybertronian symbols throughout his body. At the very least, he has them in two different spots on his right spiked shoulder, then on his left shoulder, and then on the boosters on his back. And man, they nailed the head sculpt. I absolutely love it. The only thing that looks even slightly off to me is the right arm's shoulder and upper arm. And having said that, it looks to me like like it's only in certain poses like here otherwise it doesn't really seem like a big a deal so that could definitely just kind of be whatever and hey they kind of recreated some of the Revenge of the Fallen CGI promotional images that's pretty cool so yeah this is one that I am definitely looking forward to getting one of my favorite Transformer designs of all time being made by one of my favorite companies producing Transformers figures you know it's a no-brainer but tell me what do you think about this Transformers Revenge of the Fallen DLX Megatron are you going to be getting it and what's your favorite Megatron design from the live action movies? Let me know down in the comments. As always, a big thanks to everyone for watching and have a good one.